Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the Book of Job, chapter 11. Ben answered Zophar the Nama type and said, Should not the multitude of words be answered? And should a man full of talk be justified? Should thy lies make men hold their peace? And when thou mockest, shall no man make thee ashamed? For thou hast said, My doctrine is pure, and I am clean in thine eyes. But O oh, that God would speak and open his lips against thee, and that he would shew thee the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. Know therefore that God exacteth of thee less than thine iniquity deserveth. Canst thou by searching find out God? Canst thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? It is as high as heaven. When canst thou do, what canst thou do? Deeper than hell, what canst thou know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If he cut off or sh and shut up, or gather together, then who can hinder him? For he knoweth vain men, he seeth wickedness also. Will he not then consider it? For a vain for vain man would be wise, though man be born like a wild ass's coat. If thou prepare thine heart, and stretch out thine hands toward him. If iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away. And let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. For then shalt thou lift up thy face without spot. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast. And shalt not fear. Because thou shalt forget thy misery. And remember it as the waters that pass away. And thine age shall be clearer than the noonday. Thou shalt shine forth. Thou shalt be as the morning. And thou shalt be secure, because there is hope, yea, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety. And thou shalt lie down, and none shall make thee afraid. Yea, many shall make sweet unto thee. But the eyes of the wicked shall fail, and they shall not escape, and their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Interesting chapter here with Zophar the Namatite. He is seemingly doubling down on the idea that the wicked will not prosper, it will be God that prospers, etc., etc. And so that's where I'll go ahead and end the, the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I worked my software developer job. I worked at my core. I uploaded and scheduled today's Daily Diary video for 5 16, 23 And I created, uploaded, and scheduled. Yeah, that was yesterday's video, excuse me. And I created, uploaded, and will schedule today's Daily Diary video for 5 17, 23 and with no further achievements, uh, excuse me, um, since yesterday's Daily Drive video, I want to go ahead and touch on one of the things that I've been thinking about recently, which is reminding myself to be patient and have faith. And that is one of the things that I am telling myself because um, the journey ahead of me is long. It is a very long journey. And I've set myself up in life such that everything will be all right for me it's more that um it i'm i'm telling myself to not even think about the next stage of my life until 59 and a half and i say that because only at the age of 59 and a half am i allowed to withdraw money from my retirement accounts and so now i'm almost 29 and a half on in um in just a few days may 24th i will turn 29 and a half and that will be um, 30, in 30 years from that date, 
I will be able to withdraw the money from my retirement account. And with compound interest and how it works, I've invested entirely into the S&P 500, just completely even with the index, not trying to beat the index, not trying any other single stocks, nothing, just complete index investing. And um, that's what I'm going to go forward with. And um, I believe that in 30 years, with what I've already done up to this point, as long as I never touch the money, I'll be able to start the next stage of my life where I will start having a family. And I say that to say, it's not because it might not socioeconomically be possible sooner, but rather that's the safest path for me in that it not only allows all that money to compound over a period of time, because it's not that much now, but over time with compounding it is. Um, and then also, it clears my mind from this idea that there's anything else to be doing. You know, one of the things they say, I watched a TED Talk a long time ago, and on the TED Talk, they talk about how with modernity, there are many more activities and things that a person can do. You know, for example, instead of reading the Bible, I could be playing Halo, I could be playing StarCraft, I could be playing God of War, Ragnarok, I could be doing any kind, any, anything, right? I could be doing so many different things. So the idea is with all the different things that you can do nowadays, you are less happy, the, the idea they propose, you are less happy picking any one of them and you end up thinking about all this other stuff that you could be doing instead of just being happy with what you are doing. So now I look at it and I say for my life that what, what I'm doing is exactly what I need to be doing. And I'm moving forward with that. Why? Because of the fact that I have everything prepared and I've, of course I'll keep investing into my retirement accounts. But what I'm saying is that I have that plan in place. Now it's just about getting better every day up to uh, up until that point. And that is like, it's both difficult, right? Because I do have to continue to work hard at my career. You know, I do exercise, um, you know, five workouts a week. I also, you know, continue with the daily diary. I, I intend to read at least one chapter of the Bible every day. I mean, I, you know, I read one chapter every day from Genesis 1. You know, I, I, you know, I do create all the, all the videos on, on one day for like a seven-day period, but in general, average one chapter a day every day. So I've read all the way from Genesis 1 now. This was job 11 today. And I intend to read all the way until the end of the New Testament. So I'm, I'm working on these goals, right? However, when you look, when I say to myself, okay, Narin, you don't have to think about anything else, like starting a family, buying a house, anything like that. It narrows the scope of what I'm doing to one big event at a time. You know, so I look at it now, this stage of my journey, where I've become the perfect spirit of God, you know, perfect in intention, soul, and spirit, and that I'll give everything I can every day for narrow angelicism. I, this, is, this phase of my life is about accumulating capital, continuing to work out and build my body. You know, at this point I weigh 235 to 240 pounds. Um, and I want to keep going with that, you know, because that there's no, I truly believe there's no limit to my potential and continuing to become more versed in the scriptures. You know, that's something that I, I wasn't able to do right over my first 26 years. Um, because, um, that's, that's what I believe God intended for me. Um, you know, to be born into the family I was born into and then to come to Jesus and, and everything, you know, work out for me the way it's meant to. And this opportunity here is exactly what I'm, what I, you know, want it to be in the sense that one goal at a time. This way, there's not too much on my plate. There's room to breathe. There's room to relax. And um, I know that it will pay off one day because at 59 and a half, and I know that seems really far away, but I've already lived almost 29 and a half years. So this is only double what I've already lived. So I can see what 29 and a half years is because I've already done it once. So it's about doing that much again. Now is the perfect spirit of God. And after that, I'll be able to start on the next stage of Naranjalism, which will become finally having my own children and first um, adherents and believers to my faith. And that's where I'll go ahead and end the Daily Diary video there for today was discussing the patience and faith I want to demonstrate in my life over these next 30 years. So with that, I want to go ahead and say, Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.
Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.